Hello, I'm Canyon Flory, and this is Cameron Ninja Training. This week's episode is counterbalancing your jib. Last week we went over the importance of leveling your jib, so this week we're going over all the ways of counterbalancing your jib. Cameron Ninja Training. Ah, <sighs> oh, bird sh Our first method of counterbalancing is using the standard rock bag that comes with your crane. So basically, the rock bag slings over the jib handle and you can put pretty much anything you want in there, rocks, sand, snow, a boot, camera, bloop, and it counterbalances nice and easily like that. Look at that. <laughs> to secure your counterbalance bag in place, clip it in with a carabiner into the jib handle. Secures the bag in place so that if you're moving it around or shooting in precarious situations, that'll keep it from coming off there. And yet another way of securing your counterbalance bag in place is by using a standard weightlifting bar end clamp. Yeah. Keep it rolling, babe. Keep it rolling. Another great way of counterbalancing your crane is with a standard weight plate. These fit right over the jib handle and you can lock it in place with your bar end clamp. Our final counterbalance technique is the vertical weight stack. And what we do here is we take the jib handle, rotate it 90 degrees so it's going vertical. Make sure our cable is at the bottom so you're not stacking weights on top of it. And then we stack our weights. Nice and counterbalanced. Take our weight plate, stack it on top. Voila, folks. Perfectly counterbalanced. Look at that. Come here, bird. Does birds. Birds. Trying to work here. <laughs> A nice trick when counterbalancing your jib is micro adjusting your counterbalance point. You want to get your camera balanced about the apex or the sweet spot of your shot. And sometimes if you have too much weight or not enough weight, it's easy to slide the back section of the boom forward or backwards to micro adjust the counterbalance. Thank you for tuning in to Camera Crane Ninja Training. Yeah!